Bob, what you do not know about me is that I am 24-7. That is my middle fucking name, Scotty 24-7 Lavin. What that means is that every time you turn around, anywhere, anytime, you will be looking at this. That's just great, Scotty. That's just what I want to be looking at while I'm sniffing a line of blow off her ass, your fucking face. That really completes the image. Do you believe that, Scotty? Because if you believe that, you believe the commission checks in the mail, too. I understand, and you're reluctant. But I want you to know that I swear to God, on my mother, I will kill for you. You will? Yes. What if I kill? What, if you, what do you mean? I mean, what if I kill somebody late at night, and I call you up, and I go, hey, 24-7, I'm fucked. I just killed a guy at some crack den in the hood. Would you come down there in your silver 750 and pick me up and help me chop up the body and dispose of it, and then take me home and bathe me and then tuck me in? Would you do all that for me, Scotty? Because I would do that for me. Keep 10% of the money that I make. Bob. We're done now, Scotty. I'm gonna talk to E. So, what's up, E? How are you, Bob? I'm almost as good as she looks, but not nearly as good as she tastes. Oh, you're so sweet, Bob. <laughs> so who's Vince fucking? Oh, uh, no one specific. Oh, come on, don't hold out on me. I know, you know, he's just, he's having fun. Did he do Milano on the tail? What? No. I saw her coming out of the house one night. Oh, no, she was with drama. I used to live next door to these guys. The puss that rolled in and out of there made my house look like a monastery. <laughs> That's great. Let's tweak back to this. Actually, no, Scotty, we can't. Not with you here, because you make me unfucking comfortable. I'm just gonna talk to E now. Would you leave? This is my office. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna stain anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I don't like that guy. You like that guy? No, he's creepy. He's just trying to take care of you, Bob. I don't get taken care of by dudes. Hey, I get it. Murray wants me on his roster, and I make so much money that it ain't gonna mean nothing to give him a commission. But I want something in return. What is it? Don't think I'm weird when I tell you this. Anything, Bob, what? Promise you won't call me weird. Just say it, Bob, I won't call you weird. I wanna have sex in Murray's office. What? Yeah. I wanna fuck her in Murray's office. <laughs> look, I'll, look, I get it, Bob. I, I'm sorry if you wasted it. No, I'm serious. I'm not weird. I'm pragmatic. This would be great for my memoirs. Murray Berenson, the guy's a legend, fucking on his couch. Come on. You serious, Bob? Do I ever tease when I'm talking about fucking, baby? No. No. I'm serious. I'm not weird. Think about it. Okay, Bob. Team, what do you want to talk to me about? Bob Saget. What about him? Well, we had a meeting. On day one, I love it. How'd it go? Well, do you know Bob at all? No. Did you close him? No, well, we're right there, but do we really want him? He's a big owner. Why wouldn't we? Oh, he's strange. Who isn't in this town? Talk to me, Eric. This is really uncomfortable. It shouldn't be. Okay, uh... Bob Saget would like to have sex in your office. What? Yeah, he said it'd be good for his memoirs, and he'll sign with us if we'll, or if you'll let him. Are you asking me if Bob Saget can fuck in my office? I'm just repeating the information. Maybe I made a mistake with you. No. This isn't a whorehouse, Eric. This is my office. I built my business sitting right here at this desk. And you want to have Bob Saget defile it? No, look, I just... You wanted Bob Saget, and this is what he asked for. <laughs> Jesus, Eric, you really make a fuck face when you're scared. What? Ring him in. I don't give a shit. My ex-wife decorated this place anyway. <laughs> really? Yeah, just get a cleaning crew in here after. Okay. Good first day? Real good. Great. Maybe tomorrow you go get Christian Bale. We'll let him execute a cinematographer if he wants. See you later. <laughs>